the channel and welcome to this 2000 point game of Black Templars versus Tau. This is going to be interesting. I've not gone against Black Templars and it's been a while since I've gone against Space Marines in general because... You don't see Space Marines very much? Yeah, I usually just run Black Templars myself so it's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the lists, we'll have a look at the mission, I've got the board all set up, but we'll set up the armies and we'll show what that looks like and then we're going to crack into it. Oh, and obviously we'll cover secondaries. This is my 2000 point um, Tau list. There's a battalion detachment. We have the warlord over here, the enforcer commander. He has precision of the hunter, so he's re-rolling all hits and wounds and, ha and he has the onager gauntlet, which makes him nice and punchy. He's got two uh, shield drones with him. We've got the uh, cardra fireblade down there with his marker drone. Um, he's mostly there just to buff up some, some fire warriors. Uh, speaking of which for troops, two 10-man squads strike team, one breacher will be in Devilfish of course, two crisis teams, uh, one with triple burst cannon, one with fusion, plasma and shield, both of them have got two marker drones with them, two riptides, both with the ion and smart missile system, and they have the uh, drones with them, oh there's target lock on the um, suits which is slightly redundant against Black Templars, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, it means you don't get any benefits from being in light cover. Uh, I brought a Ghost Kill, just because I haven't used him yet in ninth. I want to see how he plays. I've given him the um, EM Disruption thingy bob. So if you're within 12 inches of him and you do a stratagem, it costs an additional CP. Um, that Otherwise, that unless you're close to him or he's the closest model to you and you're outside of 18 inches, you can't target him anyway. Um, because he is more invisible than he used to be, which is great. And two broadsides, stabilizing optics, because I hope they survive past turn three, so they can still move and shoot the heavy weapons with no penalty. And they've each got two marker drones with them and smart missile systems as well. There was other signature systems that I gave to the um, Riptide, but off the top of my head, I apologize, I can't remember, but we will... We'll obviously go through that before the game starts. And I am running Farsight. I will be starting with Montcar. Uh, so Farsight, within 12 inches, you count as having a marker light on you. And I get to re-roll a wound each time I've chosen to attack. Because it's shoot. Shoot or attack. One of the two. Uh, I will check that so I don't do it wrong. Um, oh, yes, he's got the ion and two fusion on the suit there. Shield generator, cyclonic ion blaster, two air burst. So I have lots of stuff that can shoot without line of sight because I'm going to need to be putting lots of shots into the force that you're about to look at. Let's have a look. Here they are. Black Templars. So I think Black Templars are the way to run Space Marines at the moment and I'm trying some interesting things out. So normally I play as Iron Hands so, but I now think Black Templars are probably a lot more sturdier than Iron Hands. So, for my HQs, we've got Helbrecht. We have to take Helbrecht. He is a beast. Ta-da! Um, then we've got a chaplain, who is a Master of Sanctity. He's got a jump pack. He's got the Benediction of Fury as a relic. And his litanies are Mantra of Strength and Candle of Hate. He is all about slapping things in combat. Which, versus Tau, which I didn't know I was playing... It's exactly where I want to be. Mm. Um, then my other HQ is a Primaris Tech Marine. He is a Master of the Forge and nothing else special. We'll get to... You'll see the reason why I wanted a Primaris Tech Marine in the list uh, shortly. And then my actual Warlord is a Chief Apothecary. And Chief Apothecaries are great. Everyone knows how good they are. He has got um, self Sealer, as you'd expect. He's also got the armor Indomitus, so he's got two up save, a fifth wound because he's firstborn. There's a reason why he's firstborn, and um, once per game we'll have a three up, and vulnerable. Now, my three troop squads. We've got incursors, infiltrators, and an uh, intercessor squad. All basic. Um, they're just to do actions, to a lot of infiltrating to start in the mid board. Um, I'm not sure how great this is going to go versus Tau, but I think against anyone else you need those troops, especially the Deep Strike Denial. And then in the Elites, 
The main reason why I, I'm excited to play this list, we've got Assault Centurions, a squad of four, all with Hurricane Bolters and Flamers. And then the Sergeant has got, firstly, the Crux Obsidian, so he reduces damage by one. And he's also got the Black Templar Stratagem, Champion of the Feast. So he gets plus one wound, uh, plus one weapon skill, and plus one attack. So he is an absolute weapon in combat. And then combined with the Apothecary, they should not be going anywhere. Um, they should absolutely just boss the centre of the field. Mm -hmm. um, the other three elites I've taken, I've got three Redemptors. Two Plasma, one Gatling, all with the Mini Gatling and the Rocket Pods. Um, Redemptors are great. And that's why I've got a Tech Marine to run alongside my three Redemptors and my Land Raider, fixing them up. The final elite, it's got two, two company veterans. So anyone who's seen the previous videos knows I love my bodyguard. Yeah. They are just <laughs> there to keep the Apothecary alive, uh, ride around in the Crusader. Um, if the Crusader explodes, like, that's just how I expect it to. If I roll any ones, they'll be the first to die. They're just there to keep things humming along. And finally, a Land Raider Crusader, because we're playing Black Templars. Yeah, yeah. And um, the stratagem to actually move it and then get the Crusaders out, uh, uh, the, get the Centurions out, I think is going to be um, key if it stays alive, because suddenly, instead of moving, I think they move four inches or five inches, um, they can move 13, so 10 and a three-inch get up. And then, as Black Templars, with this list, I'm always going to take Uphold the Honour of the Emperor. So every unit in the army gets a 5-up invulnerable save. A mini transhuman, so they can only be wounded on a 3 or more. Um, which, for Redemptors and Land Raider and Crusaders, means they should just be able to take a lot more punishment than even Iron Hands ones can. And the downside to this army is that I don't get the benefits of cover. Well, I've got a lot of vehicles, I've got a lot of characters, and Centurions have a 2-up save, and are going to be in Land Raider most of the time. So, in theory, cover shouldn't matter. Cool. I'm looking forward to seeing... I want to see how my different list that I've played works, and I'm really looking... I know, I know I should be rooting against them, but I'm really looking forward to see how this list plays. Um, but let's see. So we will, I'll quickly go through the mission... We'll get set up, then we'll show you the board, um, and then we'll throw down some dice. So the board is set up, the objectives set up, and the armies are set up. So I've got, we've got the towers set up, so I'll go right to left. Uh, strike team back here, ready to do Nackman data. Got the Cardra Fire Blade here, front lining both my Riptides. Broadsides here as well, burst suits here, ready to jump up. Devilfish with the Breach Sin, all rushing forward, Ghost Kill rush forward, other strike team in this table quarter, also ready to do Nackman data. Um, we've got Redemptor Dead, Redemptor Dread, blah, blah, blah. Redemptor Dread, Redemptor Dread, Tech Marine, Land Raider with loads of people in. So, Party so correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the Chaplain, the Apothecary, the Centurions, and the uh, company, veterans. company Veterans. Helbrecht, ready in his shiny gold armour to rush on up, uh, Redemptor Dread. These ones are the Infiltrators. infiltrators. Over here we have the incursors. incursors and the intercessors behind there. Lots of ins. And they're all in cover. Well, they're not because they're back campers. They yeah. can't be in cover. They can't be in cover or light cover. Is it cover or just light cover? Can't get any of the benefits of cover. Excellent. Any benefits. But that's because you chose the five up invulnerable saves. That's yes. fine. Now we shall roll to see who goes first. Um, oh. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Ooh. I like my odds. Five. So. I had gambled slightly on going first, to be fair. Those infiltrators are probably dying. And um, secondaries, should we do secondaries? Yes. Because that will explain why I gambled. Yes, we'll do a dogs. quick discussion of secondaries. So I have taken Retrieved Nackman Data, because uh, I kind of enjoy that one. Uh, assassination, because there's four characters. And Stranglehold, because I want to push up and hold more objectives than you. Simple as that. Yeah, and I've gone for both of moments. So... Kill staff and hold the centre. Yep. I've gone for investigate signals 
or investigate sites, whatever it's called. Yeah. Which is basically do an action on the centre. Yep. And stranglehold as well. Which is why the infiltrators are behind the obscuring near the centre. Yes. They probably would have got the smart missile down if um, I'd gone second, but that's the gamble. They still will. So uh, the other mission... Uh, sorry, the other primary for this mission, I'll quickly explain as well, because you've got the normal take and hold. But so for this one, we have uh, for each um, objective marker, there is a action, an action, sorry, called the Auspex scan. Um, so that can be one unit from your army you can start to perform this action at the end of your movement phase if it's within an objective marker that has not been scanned by a unit from your army. What that essentially allows you to do at the end of the battle, each player scores three victory points for each objective marker on the battlefield that has been scanned by their army. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen potential um, victory points there, which is going to be interesting. But here we go, Black Templar turn one, battle round one. I'm not going to sing. Uh, the Vanger <laughs> bus is stuck in my head from moving this land. <laughs> so what what have we done? So command phase. Uh, the chaplain is in the the Venga bus, so nothing's happening there. That advanced, I rolled. It, I got three, I re-rolled it because I'm allowed as a Black Templar. Yep. I rolled a one. Of course. So he's shuffled out. Um, the plus one to hit from the Tech Queen has gone on the Plasma one there. And Hellbrecht was just within six to give re-roll all hits to this one. Because they're core. Because they're core. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Well, so... The Crusaders aren't core, the Centurions aren't core, so, um, yeah. yeah, so what have I done? So I've moved out so I can get line of sight on some big things, hopefully I can damage a bit of the anti-tank before it decimates my vehicles. The infiltrators have moved on to the centre, they're going to investigate the centre. The intercessors have moved up and they're going to do the, um... Strategic scan for the mission. Yep. And the in, in cursors, the combat ones, they move six inches through the building. Yep. They're lining up a pretty tasty charge to grab this uh, objective over here. Yeah. I don't think they can kill an enforcer, but they'll. Uh, they'll, they'll try. They'll, they'll try. try. Yeah. Uh, if, if Black Templars aren't charging Tau, then. You've done something wrong. I'm not going to win this game if I can't charge Tau. <laughs> Black Templars. So. That right. is my movement phase. I've gained a CP. Yeah. So I'm up to 11. Um, no psychic. Black Templars don't believe in that kind of thing. So I think we'll come back with some shooting in a moment. Excellent. So I realised that I hadn't just pressed anything then. So <laughs> the Gatling, um, the Redemptor Dread, is going to put small guns into the Riptide, big guns into the broadsides. Yes. So into the broadsides. The big gun has got... 12... Big Gun has got um, 12 shots, yes. I'll just put the book on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Big Gun has 12 shots. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So he's hitting on 3 into the broadsides. This is not the one with any rerolls. But he will reroll 1s to hit for Hellbrick. Oh, yes. Aura time. Look at that. That's pretty tasty. And then broadsides are toughness five. Five. The gun is strength five. More than that. Strength, strength six. God, I should know this, shouldn't I? It is in fact strength six. So it's yep. three to wound. Excellent. Um, oh, that was one extra that I missed. Yep. So seven. Two, four, six, seven saves. Where Minus. Minus two because I'm in a sort of uh, heavy doctrine. Excellent. So I will be starting, I may as well just get rid of some of these on the drones. So I'll do first four, so sixes. So three drones dead. All the drones are dead, and then four ups. Cool, so one of them is down to six wounds. We're starting with, with the, the small guns. So the small guns into the... Riptide. Riptide. So we're going to start with a rocket pod, so it's got D3 shots. Two shots. Uh, Re-rolling. No, nope, one hit. Strength is seven. So... Toughness eight. Now. Five to wound. 
one wound minus two because I'm in the yep. heavy doctor in, so it's minus two and it is two damage. How would you take it? Uh, I'm going to try this on the shielded missile drone. So, how many damage was it? Two. Two. So that's his two wounds. Okay. Then we'll go over to the storm bolters. Two, four, six, eight. So, hitting on threes. Rolling the three ones. Mm. Oh. There's a few misses. And then it's going to be sixes to wound. Two wounds. No AP. Two ups. He's fine. Okay. And then the mini, the mini Gatling. Nice. Good number of shots. Fives to wound. So that's one wound at minus two. He's fine. He's fine. Great. We're going to go over <laughs> to the Macro. other dreadnought. Yep. And that's going to fire everything into Riptide. Riptide. Excellent. So, let's start with the main gun. Here we go. D6 shots. Three. Uh, so three shots, gonna overcharge it. Yep. So it's twos, re-rolling ones for Hellwrecked. So three hits. Yep. Strength is nine, so th wounds on threes. Two wounds at minus everything. So four up and vulnerable. He's fine. Ooh. Okay, the missile pod gets one shot. That hits. Wounds on fives, goes to wound. So this is the one that was buffed by Hellbreak, yeah. just people aren't wrong. I think you've knocked him back a little bit. Okay. Uh, the Mini Gatling. Two miss. Fires to wound. Was he not hitting on more because of Hellbreak? He was, you are very correct. Uh, two wounds, minus two. He takes one damage. Yep. Yeah. Down to 13. And then the Storm Bolters. Um, Reroll the ones. Let me roll the ones, thank you. They will hit. Wounding is the problem. Two wounds, no AP. Oh, it takes another wound. It's another wound. This is down to 12. I'm still not yet having to roll for my buffs because I can't roll worse than a 12. Right. And then we'll move to the other side of the table. Excellent. So we've got the other macro uh, plasma dreadnought into the devilfish, because that's all it can see. Yep. But it's re-rolling all hits. So, the plasma, two shots, overcharging. So they both hit, threes to wound. They both wound, minus um, everything, minus five. For the straight through. Straight through, so that's six damage. Cool. And then we've got the... This is just to remind me. A measure, so I might not actually be in range. I am out by a whisker. Right. So that's that, down to six. Um, we can quickly do some rapid fire bolt guns from Take, here. Taken six. Yep. Into the Bring commander. it. Bring it. So, <clears throat> Kill my drones. Let me just check the specialness of their guns. We'll be right back. Here we go. So we've got eight shots plus a crack grenade into the commander. From this side of the building, straight through. Yep. So, this is where we're so coming. let's do the bolt guns. Uh, one miss, that's very good. Fives to wound. Three saves. Where are you going to take him? I'm going to put this on the commander. So okay. twos. He's fine. And a crack grenade. Hits. Wounds, minus one. Minus two. Does go on the commander. Three. Fails. Minus two. Yeah. Uh, command point. <laughs> Got a one. So the damage. Two. Two damage. Minus one, because he's an enforcer. Yes. So he takes one. Okay, could have been worse. But yeah. does mean now all the damage is going on him, and I probably should have just put that all on the shield drains. Never mind. So he's down two. So we're charging over here. I spent a command point to reduce the charge roll by two. I will get to re-roll, however, as I'm a Black Templar. Yep. Yeah. You didn't need it. Didn't need it. It's a six inch <laughs> charge, so eight makes it. Uh, so I'll move him in and then we'll get to fighting. Excellent. So it's a bit crowded over there, so we're going to roll over here. So three attacks a model for charging. Um, minus one AP. So threes to hit. Two 
And then... Toughness five. So, five's to win. Just one save at minus one. Three up. Nope. Takes a wound, he should now fight back. So he's going to punch back on the Jagauntlet, uh, hitting on threes. With his Warlord trait, he rerolls everything. Never mind. And then threes, because of the Black Templar uh, vow, rerolls everything. So that's three, five up in vulnerable saves. Five up in vulnerables, being a Black Templar. No, I failed all three. And here comes the drones. One hit. Mm. Ooh. Drop die, don't count. Does not wound, they're only strength three. We did. All right. Go, Commander. Should I believe. Run around quickly? Yes, I think, just, I think that's just it. Just on a six. No, no, fine. They're all good. Brave. Brave. So at the end of the turn, I've got Stranglehold. Yep. I'm holding four objectives. Yep. I've done my investigate sites in the center for three points. And I've done my mission one on this objective for another three points. So, not a great turn for killing, just some drones, but I am uh, ahead of points now. Yep, so here we go, tail turn one. So this Riptide's positioned himself over here, because um, he's either gonna try and just, just get rid of them completely, or he's gonna do smart missile and then some shots down to that dreadnought. This other Riptide jumped up into the middle, Again, smart missile system there, smart missile systems there. They've all advanced up. We're doing. Which one did I say I was doing Nackman data this turn? This one. Nackman data here and the second primary Strategic from. Strategic scan. Strategic scan from these guys. Ghost kills jump forward. Hopefully, melt those two. Obviously, the commander fell out of combat after not doing quite as well as I'd hoped. He did well. He was fine. And yes, yeah, so if I can clear off here and there. That'll give me Stranglehold. I've started on Nackman Data and the Mission Secondary. I could do with killing a character, but that is not going to happen. Um, unless I blow up the Land Raider and you roll all ones. No, it's not going to happen. Um, but it's a starting point. It is a starting point. So now we're going to go on to shooting. I'm so indecisive about where I want to go. Oh, um, both of the Riptides have um, buffed their gun to eight shots. Um... I know I should probably do the feel no pain, but I want to shoot stuff. We're going to start with the broadside. The smart missile system is going to go into the into something or others in the middle, and railguns into the uh, and raider infiltrators. So let's get some dice together. Here comes the smart missile systems. Hit on fours. Look at all the ones. Oh, if only the commander was over there. Um, Monk Car, are they the closest? They are, but I'm not in 12 inches anyway, so it doesn't matter. 18 inches. Oh yeah, 18. Oh, hang on. I'm in Monka. Uh, when you're on threes, now I reroll ones. So that is five, six, seven, eight, nine, AP minus two. Minus two. Minus one basic, and additional minus one for being in Monka. Well, up saves. Probably should have transhuman these thinking about it, but never mind. Um, oh, okay. Unless you want to command point one, that's the squad. Nope, because they've got two wins each. Oh, of course they do, they're space marines. Um, oh. <laughs> two and a half are dead. Two and a half, excellent. And now the rail guns, which are definitely not in one car. So, fours. And threes. So that's three mortal wounds. Yeah, and three invulnerable saves. Yep. Invulnerable saves. Right, how much damage are these? D3 plus 3. I'm going to use a reroll. Yep. Nice. So one goes through, and then three mortals. Yep. So I get a 5 up, feel no pain because I'm a Black Templar. I'll pass another 2. So okay. one mortal and 6 wounds, so 7 wounds in total. Okay. And where shall I go next? I'm going to do this Riptide now. Smart missiles into these three. Big gun and missile drone into the party bus. Um, I am, something I forgot I could do last time, uh, last time, is I'm going to pop smoke on the party bus, because it can. You can do that. Excellent. Right, well, uh, I'm hitting on threes against those guys, because of uh, being far sight, and you're within 12 inches. So here's the smart missiles. <laughs> of course. And then threes. 
So that's three wounds, again at minus two. Five ups. Past two, so one's dead. One's dead. Uh, smart missiles into here. Yeah. Main gun. No, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'll finish him off first. Two, four, six, eight shots. So this will be now be hitting on fives. So yeah. I advanced the drone so I couldn't use my marker lights. That's why I didn't do the actions. Come on. I am going to command point one of those. No. So down to nine. <laughs> it's there somewhere. There it is. And this is strength eight. Toughness eight. I'm far sight, so I get to re-roll a wound. So that's two wounds at so AP minus three. Five ups. Failed one. So four damage. Four, so down to five. Not dead yet. Not, Not dead yet. Right. Hopefully slower though. Yes. Okay. Very slow. Uh, missile pods from the drone. Nope, nothing there. Okay. They're still alive. Oh, one is dead. That one is on one wound is dead. Yeah. But that's that's not great. So the other riptide is going to finish them off. Or do I use the devil fish first? Right, I'm going to shoot them with the devil fish, and then I, I can't see them. Of course, screwing terrain. Screwing terrain. Mm. I don't get the benefits of cover, but I can be obscured. Yeah. Right. So everything into them. I'm not going to overcharge this one because I shouldn't need to. Uh, it does make it AP, still AP3, but only three damage. Um, so, fours. These are smart missiles. This is the big gun. Oh, the big gun. Wow. I can reroll the wound because I'm far so. Thankfully, wounds. Five up invulnerable. Well, at least that pops one. One's dead. <laughs> Damn it. Am I in 18? Hang on. And uh, smart missile system. Oh, this is going so well. Three wounds at minus two. Fives. I'm really paying for not transhumaning them. He's alive. Oh, this is. Oh. Guess who's getting insane bravery? Oh, for goodness sake. Guess who's getting charged by a riptide. I really need to get him off that objective. Right. Um. I'm going to go over here with the ghost kill into the two remaining other into something or others. So we can start with the ion. I'm not going to overcharge it because I don't need to. So they're in, pardon me, they're within 12, so threes. That is five hits. And then threes. Always threes at best. Yep. And re-rolling ones for Montcar. So that's four wounds at minus two, two damage a piece. Oh, seriously. <laughs> that five up and vulnerable save is fantastic. Uh, here comes the two fusion blasters. One hit. Wounds. Five up, come on. No, no, he's fair. D6 plus two. Yeah, okay, so that is that at least. Now the problem I've got here, I'm gonna go over to shoot these guys in a second. With him still being alive, that's actually a big problem for me because I then won't get stranglehold. So I'm going to have to charge, because why not? And if he doesn't die, if he dies, he dies. Right, we're going to start over here with the devil fish into the intercessors. That is one of the inter things that I know. I will transhuman this squad. Excellent. So first of all, we do the accelerator burst cannon, which is six shots. This one is AP minus one, which will make it AP minus two. They are within counts as having a marker light distance. So here's the accelerated burst cannon. So that is five hits, fours to wound because of transhuman. Oh, that works. So I reroll ones for Montcar and I reroll one of them for being far sight. So two wounds at minus two. Five ups. One takes a wound. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, turrets, so the drones. And then fours again. Rerolling ones, so three at, this is only minus one. Four ups. Okay. Kill bomb. And now I'm gonna check the range, oh, I've got some stratagems for the breaches. Yeah, cause they're not, they're not gonna be within eight. 
No. no. So stratagems incoming. I'll get 20 dice together and let's see what happens. Okay, here comes 20 shots hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because I put the aura on the devilfish, and then wounding on fours because a transhuman, and then giving them your five-up saves. Right, so threes, re-rolling ones. That's pretty good. So 15 hits. Uh, oh, I've zoomed in. That's annoying. Oh, there we go. Fours. Rerolling ones for Monk Car. I'll take those away. I can reroll one of them for being far sight. So that is two, four, six, eight, nine saves at five up. Five up. Watch them tank these. Oh, see. Pretty good. So four, so I've lost another two. I've got two left. And they're still alive. Still alive. So my options here are I charge them and then I've got objective secured and I outnumber him because he don't think he can kill enough, you'll get six attacks. Ooh. Decisions to be made. Let me have a think. I'm gonna charge this guy with the breaches. Seven inch charge. They want it. I'm no I could just delete it, but I'm going to correct myself. Using the stratagem where the devilfish moves and they get out, they can't charge. So I know someone's already screamed that <laughs> at the video, but I'm not doing that. So the Riptide is gonna charge instead, but I will, of course, roll that and eight and yeah. So he's, boomf. Ooh, so six attacks. You know what, let's do the drone first. Missed, there we go, okay. Three hits. Three's to Three's. Three wounds. AP minus two. I did think about transhuman. AP minus two? Yeah. Wow. Okay. He's got big fists. Big fists. I did think about transhuman, but I decided <clears throat> against it. So, five ups. Pop. No, he's dead. Take yeah. two wounds. He gets punched in the face. Let me just check. Yeah. AP minus two. Strength seven. Two damage. It's if he hits, he's great. Right, so at the end of that, I've done the first of my Nackman data scans. I've done one of these second primaries, and I've got Stranglehold. But and I'm going to insane bravery on the squad on the objective. Fair enough. No. Um, but I have not obviously got anything for assassinate. But that gives me. Th yeah. Hold on. Let's work this out quickly. Yep. So you've got your first R&D, nothing for assassinate. And stranglehold. You've got stranglehold, so that puts you on uh, six points. Yeah. Versus my nine. Here we go. Right. Battle round two. Black Templar turn two. Tan tan turn two. I think this is going to hurt. Ah! <laughs> they came closer. What have you done? So, command phase was nice and quick. It was just the Tech Marine giving plus one to hit to the Plasma Dreadnought, and Hellbrex giving reroll all hits to the Gatling Dreadnought. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's all I could do in the command phase. Um, what we've then done is the movement phase. So you notice that the Land Raider has moved far more than its middle bracket will let it. It's used Power of the Machine Spirit to act on top profile, and it has gone its full 10 yeah. inches. Then I've spent, so that's one CP, I've then spent another CP to use the Black Templar ability to get out in the end of a move. So the Centurions are out, facing Mr. Riptide down. We've got the Apothecary, the Company Vets. The Chaplain got out before the move, and he managed to move 15. That's his 3-inch disembark and his 12-inch move. Yep. So he has not done any listenings yet because he was in the Land Raider, he was in the Venger bus, at the beginning <coughs> of the command phase. Um, I, as the Master of Sanctity, can do one CP just to yep. do a litany. So the litany I've given him, so I don't think we've mentioned it, is plus two to charge, which might counteract the minus two the battle yep. can give me, and mantra of strength, which makes him really choppy. Yep. And on the other side of the board, um, not much has happened because I've only got three models there. Yep. But we've just moved closer to the tower. Yep. Because what else are you gonna do to the tower? And then at the end of the movement phase, I'm going to heal the Land Raider by three wounds because I'm a Chief Master of the Forge. Yarp. 
to back to eight. Still middle bracket though. Yeah. But he's uh, counting his top bracket this time. Here comes a much stronger shooting phase, I think, is going to be. Well, I've got more a lot of on the board now. More in range as well. Yes. So let's um, come back once I've decided where to shoot first. We are starting on Space Marine's right flank. The weaker flank. So we're going to do... It's the right way, Mr. Man. Then I fire four shots into the breaches. So they hit on threes. You'll hit. Nice. They wound on threes. So that's two wounds. I am in tactical doctrine, so minus two. Minus two now. Minus two. One dies. And then we'll move to the Dreadnought. So the Redemptor is going to put the Storm Bolters into the Breachers. Yep. Then we're going to put the Plasma, the Rockets, and the Gatling into the Ghost Kill because I am within 18. Yes, I moved him up a bit too much. So, the Plasma. Five shots. I am going to overcharge it. Because... Why not? not? So, threes. I take a Mortal Wound. Fine. Minus one to hit. Uh, two hits. Wow. Oof. Well, that, that's a thing. Eight shots from the Gatling. Shoot on fours. Wounding on um, fives. I would imagine so. That's two saves at minus one. Where he's going. Hmm. Well, you're close now anyway, so drones. So, two drones die. So we've got the rocket pod into the ghost kill. Yep. So he gets three shots. Uh, minus, not no Min longer minus one. Still minus one to hit. Okay, so two yeah. hits. The minus one to hit is inherent. The not being able to shoot him from far away is the drones. Force to wound, one wound. I believe they're toughness seven now. They are indeed toughness seven, minus... Minus one. So fours, he's fine. And then we're going to rapid fire our storm bolters into the breaches. This is just bullying. Threes. And then threes. And these are at AP minus one. So that's four saves. Three more die. Three more die. Breaches did not do as much as I'd hoped. I don't think they're long for this world. There's a few things that aren't long for this world. It's just what happens after that. Right, so let's have a little think about where we go next. Cool. So we're going to start on this side with the Plasma Redemptor, who has plus one to hit from the Tech Marine, going into the broadsides. Here we go. So, uh, the Plasma, three shots. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. For, oh right, they will hit. Wounding on... Toughness um, five. I'm going to overcharge them, I should have said, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, so I'm going to wound on three still. That's two saves at minus four. Minus four, so sixes. So they have a two up. Ooh. One takes three wounds. Cool, one's down to three. We've got the Icarus rocket pod. Gets three shots. Three. They all hit. Three's to wound. Three wounds at minus one. Four damage. Oof. Uh, come on, point then. That's a dead broadside. Okay. Then we've got the Gatling. So, the Gatling hits on two two rolling ones. It'll hit. Uh, strength five, so fours. Yep. Oof. Four saves, minus one. Two go through. Down to six. And finally, some long range storm bolters. Two G rolling ones. They'll hit. Five to wound. No. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh dear. And the next is the other Redemptor. Um, he's going to fire his big gun and rockets into the broadside and his small arms into the crisis. Cool. So, um, the big gun has 12 shots, 4, 6, yep. 12. So he's hitting on 3's but re-rolling everything, and Hellbrecht, 
or miss. It's going to wound on threes because it's strength six. Yep. That Oof. Was not so great. So that's one, two, three, four, five saves at minus one. So threes. One goes through. Live. Live. We've got the rocket pod. <clears throat> Gets two shots. Both hit. Both wound. Minus one. Two damage. Yep. That's everything at him. And then at the um, crisis. crisis. So the small gatling. Three is re-rolling. They all hit. And then fours. What? Two. Two, Two. saves at minus one. Uh, so on the drones, one drone dies. And then... Dropped a flight stand somewhere. Please don't stand on that in case it's poking up. Okay. I'm going to say two seconds. Here we go. Storm bolters into the crisis. Uh, Rerolling the misses. So if they all hit. Winning on fives. One wound. This is on your drone. Yep. Minus one. That's the other drone. Not okay. drop. Those are the dreadnoughts, Sam. <laughs> <clears throat> That's right, guys. That was just the dreadnoughts. Uh, the tech marine is going to fire his forge bolter. Ooh. Um, so it's basically a heavy bolter that's assault at range 18. So he hits on twos. Uh, two hits. And he wound on fours. One wound. Minus two because it's assault. Minus two. So I shall put that on the iridium suit here. Um, so that is fours. Two damage. Two damage. So he's down to two. Right. Um, the land raider hmm. is going to put the assault cannon into the broadsides. Yep. And then I'm not within 12. So the hurricane bolt is at long range into the um, crisis suits. Cool. So assault cannon, 12 shots. Hitting on threes because it's um, counting on its top profile. And then wounding on threes. So that's two, four, six at minus one. Ooh. So you're going to have to do these two at a time for the iridium suit. Oh, wasn't, oh, wasn't this? Oh, broadside, yeah. Broadside, yeah. Sorry. Six, three. And that's all he's got. So that's the broadside's gone. Oh, that's the first. Oh, that's the first game. No, it's not the first game I've lost them. I must have lost them before. Anyway, you lost sorry. them first to my sisters. Oh, yes. Right. Hurricane bolters into your crisis suit. Yep. Hitting on threes. Three misses. When you're on fives. Two saves on your iridium suit, minus one. I don't know why I do that. Yep, it's fine. Okay, great. And now we're going for the Centurions into your Riptide. Yep. Weight of fire. What um, have they got? I feel like... One of them's going to the Crisis. One of them's in range of the Crisis. Cool. The rest into your Riptide. Okay. Let me get some dice. Excellent. Right, so we'll do the first Centurion into the Crisis suits. Um, they're all within half range, and this is just going to be weight of dice. So here's the first Hurricane Bolter. This many misses. Fives to wound. That's going to be three saves at minus one. Takes a wound. And then the Flamer gets 11 hits. Wounding on fives. One, two, three, four at minus one. He's fine. Yep. Right. That's, I don't think I have to show you what I rolled, but yeah. Right. Twelve dice. <clears throat> so I've got three more going into the riptide in the building. Yep. I'm going to do this three times for the hurricane bolter. Cool. So threes. Followed by sixes. That's two. Right. Um, 
mix up. Let's get them all together, yeah. Threes, followed by sixes. That's another two, so that's four. The next one. Threes, followed by sixes. Another two. Now we've got six flamers. Yep. Oof, this is where the number jumps up significantly. <laughs> So that's five, ten, eighteen. Eighteen. So it's fifteen dice, and I'll do three more afterwards. Again, sixes. So one, two, three more. So just three more. So nine, so nine saves. saves at minus one. Okay, I'm going to be really annoying. Drone. So do these two at a time. So he's taken a wound. He's okay. So that's three. three. He's okay. Four. Five. He's six. dead. So there's three at minus one. Yes, three at minus one. So three three ups. He's fine. Okay, well, um, <laughs> the main goal was to smash him in combat, so I was just trying to do some chip damage. Yeah, yeah. I think that's all my shooting. That is all my shooting. Hellbricked. Oh, let me check his range. I think it might be 30. Cool. Hellbricked, my last bit of shooting. His melt gun's out of range, but I think it's called Ferocity. This is bolt version, so it's rapid two, so I'm in long range, so two shots. Hitting on twos, one miss. Uh, strength five, so the wound on fours, the wounds. And it's minus two because I'm in tactical doctrine. He's fine. Fine. Okay. Now, <sighs> we'll get to the charge phase. Joy. I'm going to spend a CP. So my chaplain, so that's five CP. My chaplain is going to intone the Canticle of Hate. So he gets plus two to his charge. Yeah, and I will spend a CP to reduce your charge by two, because I may as well. Which is better. Six. Yeah. And he's going to charge right into the Crisis Suits, which is on a seven. So. Here we go. Seven. <sighs> he's in. Oh boy. They're in and trouble. The next charge, which is a one inch charge, I can't fail it, is... The Centurions yep. into the Riptide. I roll it just in case. Five. Okay. Um, they want to stay. Pretty much where they are. Um, just... Actually, if they go around the building. They can't be shot by the um, the other Riptide. Uh, but no, because then they touch the other. So okay, they're going to stay here on the objective. Yep. I have realised I haven't done any actions this turn, um, which may be silly me, but then again. <sighs> Fine, I'm a silly sausage. Um, I wasn't in the range of the centre anyway, and all my units are busy doing other things. Yep. So we'll have to wait for another turn. I think it's more important probably to kill Tau while you're next to Tau, and then do the secondaries afterwards. Yeah. Around the other side. Yep, who are um, declaring with first? We'll declare with the Dreadnought, I guess. I don't think you can fail. Six, nope. That's in. It's not worth overwatching. And then the... Uh, troops, five. So, by putting them like that, I'll still be on the objective. Yeah, and goodbye to the breaches. Where would you like to go first? Um, I, I mean, your only real combat unit is the Riptide. I don't know, I don't know, to be honest. I think I will... I'm excited to do some Turians. Let's do some Turians first. Right, I'll let you get all your dice together. So... We're going to start with the Centurions, just because I'm excited. <laughs> um, they're a lot of points, but I think they're the linchpin of this um, army. So, right. The Sergeant, he's champion of the feast. So he has four attacks on his profile, plus one for charging, plus one for being a champion. Yep. Being a champion, he has a weapon skill two. And Centurions do not get a negative for attacking in combat. So they are strength ten, minus four, three damage. I'm so glad the Riptide has a 4 pin vulnerable save now. So, the champion. He gets yeah. over times. So, he's threes. Going to wound on threes. He wounds four times. Oof. That's. Oh, I'm going to command point one of those. I have to. Yep, yeah, so you're down to five. I'm good, so I lose eight wounds? Six. Six, so it's three each. Two. Okay, so that's six so far. And here and comes the rest. The rest of the squad. The rest of the squad, four attacks Ooh. each. Yep. Hitting on threes. 
Wounding on threes. Oof. That's two, four, six. Three each again. Three each. Ooh. Well, that was a hot roll. So he's taken nine. Ooh. Which brings him down to five. That's a start. You going to interrupt anywhere? Um, just for the hell of it, yes. Because okay. I'm going to interrupt over here with the crisis suits, because why not? Here we go. Interrupting with the crisis suits onto the chaplain. So hitting on fives. Three hits. Wounding on threes. Three wounds, no AP. Three up saves. He's fine. Wow. So let's attack back with him. Yep. So he will have three attacks base. Yep. Plus one for charging. So nothing, four attacks, nothing particularly. Okay. Special. He does, however, have the Benediction of Fury. Oh. He is now strength six, minus two, three damage. Oh. And each wound roll of six will do a mortal wound as well. <coughs> Very nice. Strength six, minus two, three. Here we go. So, he hits on threes. Yep. Probably twos, actually, which I will check. And it is, in fact, twos. It is indeed. I thought so. So he's going to shed six, he's going to win on threes. Yep. So they all wound and there'll be a mortal wound in addition. Yep, so that kills off uh, the... Mortal wounds are done at the end. At the end, ah. Good point. So that's right. Four saves. At minus... Minus... I'm going to find it again because I lost it. It is minus two. Uh, minus two because I'm in tactical doctrine. Okay, so we'll start with the Iridium suit. So he will now be on fours. He's okay. He's okay. He's dead. dead. And then fives for the last one. He's okay. One of them takes a mortal wound. Yes. That was anticlimactic, I think. A little bit. You did build him up a bit. And they will then shoot him next turn. Yes. Let's move <laughs> around to the other side of the table. <clears throat> yes, where, where we will watch six, six, yeah, six breaches die horribly. So let's start with the... Redemptor, who has four attacks, hitting on, so five attacks, yep. charging, hitting on threes, twos mm. to squish them, two so are dead. Two. Hmm. And then seven attacks from the troops, hitting on threes, wounding on threes, that's better, five saves, no AP, so I'm in tactical. They're all fine. Wow. Okay. So those four fireers are going to punch the intercessors back. So that's four plus one for the chassis. Sure, you don't want to hit the redemptor. You know what? You're no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fives. One hit. Nothing. Oh, I'm far sight, so I can reroll. Ooh, two seconds. It's shoot or fight for far sight. No, nothing. Okay, and I'll check the profile for Riptide so he can fight back. Five attacks from the Riptide, hitting on fives. It's three hits. I knock that one over. What's their toughness? Toughness five. So threes. I can re-roll a wound. So just the two at minus two. Minus two, so four ops. Because they've got a two up base save. Um, That's two damage a piece. Um, my sergeant reduces them to one a piece. Ah, so is that for the squad? No, just for him. Just for him, so he's Quite taken them. Obsidian. He has taken two wounds. He gets an extra one for being champion. Three. Yes. So he's actually only down to three. Down to three. Still. Oh, cool. he also gets Fiona Pains from the Apothecary. No, Sorry. okay. Cool, so. Hmm. They only lost two, so they're fine. <laughs> Did they lost some from shooting you as well? Oh, they did, didn't they? So they lost six altogether. So leadership eight. So one runs away. And two, so two run off. Okay, that could have been worse. Oh, be careful with them. Right, so what have you scored? Right, well... I should tell you for the last battle round, which I forgot to mention, 
for the Oath of Moments, which was ended at the end of your turn. Oh, yep. I held the centre. Yep. Uh, no, I didn't. You no. just shot me off. Yeah. I didn't hold the centre. Nope. So I gained one point for not falling back. Excellent. Um, in this battle round, I have scored uh, eight for the primary. Yep. Um, I forgot potentially to do any secondary. Although, on the flip side, I kind of used all my units to do everything anyway. Yeah. So um, there's no <clears throat> real positioning I could do to do any other thing. So that's fine, really. Uh, stranglehold. I now have Stranglehold yep. for a second time. So I'm holding three objectives. Um, so... Yes, that's it. I have no set, no second bit of the primary. Um, oath. Again, I'll show at the end of your turn. Yep. Uh, I still haven't actually killed a unit yet, although I have very much damaged a lot of them. Yes, you have. You've killed broadsides. Broadsides, yes. So I will at least score a point for killing broadsides. Excellent. As we go into Tau, turn... No, no I won't. Oh. It's vehicle or character. Oh, yes. They're, which they are neither. They are neither. Tau, turn two. Right, so I've stayed in combat here. I'm hoping in my shooting phase their th 36 shots can hopefully kill him. I love burst cannons. He's moved over here. Um, actually, hang on. Slight shuffle there because I wanted to get within 12 of these guys for, for Montcar um, and Mark alike because if I can kill them, then that whole bodyguard thing goes away for later. <laughs> uh, crisis suits have dropped down over there. Um, Devilfish has jumped the other side. These guys have advanced through. Um, they've been buffed by the Cardra Fireblade who just walked around. So we've got Markalite coming in from here. Two Markalites over there. Um, so first, because he didn't advance, so first of all Markalite from him is going to go... So these guys are going to shoot. Is your Riptide counting on top profile, in the middle? That one? Mm -hmm. Yes, I may as well. One CP. I, one CP. And we're going to put a mark light onto the bodyguards on a three up. Nope. And oh, what's in range over there? Hang on. Try and put two mark lights onto this one uh, for the riptide to hopefully do some damage. No, <laughs> no mark lights. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, so uh, Nackman data over there and the mission specific here. He hasn't got obsec, so he's just going to stand there until the next command phase, which is fine. And now we do some shooting. I'm going to start with the Devilfish is going to shoot the Intercessors. Okay, so hitting on threes because you are within 12. Everything hits. Any shenanigans or just taking it? Nope, taking it. I can reroll one of them for um, being far sight. No, nope. there's no Montcar because he's no not the he's no not the closest. So that's two at minus one because it's uh, four ups. That's fine. Yeah, fine. And then the drone, the carbines. Threes. So three saves, no AP. Three ups. It's fine. Obviously. Okay, so uh, fusion suits. I'm going to put everything into the dread. They've got fusion and plasma. Plasma. So I'm going to start with the. Um, oh, who would be closest? Um, oh, that's it's very, very tight. Get a bird's eye view of this. So nine and a three quarters. Oh, that's just quite... so. This one is closer to. The infantry. The end one, however, is equal. And this one, uh, ten and a half, ten and a half equal. I don't really need it to be fair. The extra minus one's not going to make that much difference. No, minus so. one makes no difference at all. No, it's the re-rolling ones, but I can. Oh, it's fine. Right, um, we're going to start with the fusion into the dread. So hitting on threes because you are within twelve. Two hits. Three. Two wounds at minus four. Five up in vulnerables. Here we go. Oh, see, see, it's such a good oath. 
Plasmas. We want a wound. Uh, yep. Nope. Five health invulnerable. So two damage. I will take two. Uh, that's off. It was three, take away one, so Four two. Four to eleven. Right, so the commander is going to overcharge his cyclonic ion blast into the dreads and then put the air burst into the infantry. So air burst first, five shots, twos, re-rolling everything. Uh, these are now strength five, re-rolling everything. Strength four. Let me check. Four. Yes, yeah, so they are strength four. So four at minus two. Five ups. One's on one wounds. Okay. And the cyclonic ion blaster. So that's going to be three shots. Hitting on twos. Everything hits. Strength eight, so threes. Three wounds at AP minus two. Five ups. Uh, yeah. Damage on these. It would have been two, but it's down to one. So two damage. Yep. Fine. Down to nine. Down to nine. Not what I wanted. But well, there we go. Okay, um, so let's do the burst cannons into the chaplain. Here we go. Um, so they're assault weapons, and are, you're in 12 inches, so I'm hitting on threes. Many dice. He's fine. 25 hits. Rerolling the ones, and, and yep. That is 23 saves at AP minus one. And roll your dice, if you don't mind. Go for it. AP minus one, so four ups. Yep. First cannons don't get an AP, but they do because of Montgar. He's dead. Yep. No warriors, they're within a rapid fire range because they have a 36 inch range. Uh, I'm not spending command points here because I'm getting a bit low. Two left. <laughs> yes, uh, but they will be, because of the card of fire blade, they will be... Um, Burning sixes? Exploding sixes and re-rolling ones to hit. That's my bodyguard. Yep. Good job we had that re-rolling ones. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. Uh, and three sixes. Okay, toughness. Toughness is four. So threes. I can re-roll one of those. Five saves at minus one. So they have a two up save. Yep. So five saves, but some three up. <laughs> Running away. Uh, one's dead. Okay. Oh, six up from the pain. Oh, yes. One's dead. One's dead. Okay. So, smart missiles into him. Big gun. Into him. Okay. Overcooking. Because Overcook. why not? So let's do the smart missile system first. So eight shots. Still within 12 because you took the further one away off. And uh, threes. Ooh. Oh, jeez. And threes. I can re roll ones because you are in Montcar. So that is three saves at minus two. So to four ups. That felt two. Two four no pains. Bodyguards gone. Bodyguards are gone. Excellent. Ooh. Get your chappy. And then the big gun into the dread. So I'm just coming over here to remind myself of some stats. So I will be hitting on fours, because you're far away. And toughness, dread? Seven. So fours, threes, minus three, four damage. Well, three damage, because dread not. <sighs> So I just took three mortal wounds and hit twice. Two at minus three. Five ups. Okay. So. Um, and so these are three damage each, basically. Yeah. Uh, which puts me to seven wounds, and that's all your shooting that can go at them. So yep. five. Cool. And he is now down to nine. Which means now I have to start rolling for his Nova charging. And we'll go to the um, chappy in the middle, who's going to put all his guns into the Centurions. So, starting with the Smart Missile System. So, I did play the command point, so he's at full bracket. Minus one to hit. 
for heavy. But yeah, for heavy, plus one for being within 12. But smart missiles, yeah, they're heavy as well. So hitting on fours. And reroll ones. I saved my reroll wound. One save at minus two. Minus two, so they go to four ups. Nope, one takes a damage. Yep. Which is oh, sergeant. I didn't. I forgot to roll. Sorry to see if he can actually over uh, make his gun better, and he can't, and that burns out and doesn't happen anymore. He's going to die. So there's no point in. Trying to stop it. Yep. So big gun. <laughs> and he takes a mortal wound. Oh, he's in trouble. Okay. Um <clears throat> everything. So the commander's gonna charge the dreadnought. Um because why not? I can probably think of several reasons why not, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to Overwatch. Ooh. Ooh. See if this does anything. Yeah. So the main gun. How many shots? Yes. Six shots. Oh, that's not, not too many of those. Going to overcharge. So sixes. So I take a mortal wound, but I do get a hit. Yeah. Oh, two seconds. Wounds on threes. Yep. Four pin vulnerable. Four. He's fine. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the missile port gets three shots. One hit. One wound, minus one. Two damage, down to one. Um, yes, yeah, so it just takes one damage, it's not too bad. I say. <laughs> Gatling. So the Gatling gun gets one hit. Close to wound, and the storm bolters, no hits. Okay, let's measure up my charge. Okay, so we're looking at six inches because of being on the roof. Yeah, he's in. I like him round here. Round here, you say. Yes. There. Yep. And See drones that. as well. Yep. There we go. So we're going to start with the drones. Start with the drones. Both missed. There we go. Gets that out of the way. And then he's got five, five attacks. Right. Twos, threes, everything hits. Re-rolling. So that's four at minus four. Oh, up in vulnerables. So that's three apiece, because it minus, reduced by one. Four yeah, on the Jagauntlet is a beast. Uh, three apiece, so I'm gonna die either way. Yeah. See if I explode. Please don't explode. Oh, I kind of wanted him to. No, because that would have taken my <laughs> Exactly, the exactly. That's why I wanted him to. So keep his wounds with him. Excellent. So. You finally in? Mm, no. Okay. The difference is what you can throw a grenade at me. I suppose other stuff can shoot me. Hmm. Yeah. Which means you get your attacks. I will, but I'm going to hit your Riptide first. Oh yeah, of course. So, Champion of the Feast. Yep. Twos. Beastie Boy. He'll hit. Yep. Threes. Ooh. Ugh, one wound. Takes Goes. three damage. Down to one. So tempting to then spend that command point to make him auto explode. Uh, so then, nine attacks on yep. the rest of the squad. Uh, hitting on threes. That's not brilliant. Wounding on threes. Three saves. He's dead. He's dead. Now, just out of spite, I'm going to check how many command points it is. Let's see if I just want to make him blow up. I'm going to do it automatically. We'll leave it up to fate. He does not. Goodbye, Riptide. I kind of... He survived longer than I expected. I'll be honest. Yes. So that does. I'm going to get my attacks back with my um, intercessor yep. over there. So three attacks, uh, hitting on threes. Yep. Toughness Winning five. Fives. No. There you go. Okay. So 
Hmm, interesting. So I still have Stranglehold, so yep. that means you won't get Stranglehold. Which is a... Um, you, it's because he survived. You gained Assassinate this time, because yep. you shot my chaplain down. Yep. You've started doing your strategic scan. Yep. Um, I've got two on Nackman, but that's not enough yet. That's it. Two, you got four points on Nackman. But for over oh, yeah, the moment, good. Yep. I hold the centre. Yep. And I have not run away, and I've killed a vehicle. So I get the full, um, however many points it is. Yeah. yeah, we'll check that. So it's trundling along. It's probably reasonably close at this point. Four points for Oath. Nice. Right. As we move into battle round three, Templar turn three. So I'm going to go back because I made a mistake. I was sat over there letting the Black Templars move and thought, I just had this niggling doubt. On the Jagordla isn't four wounds, it's four damage, it's three. Which would have meant that James would have re-rolled. Re so we're going to do that now. No. Okay, that right. makes it simple. Yeah, but my bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there any other movement to do, actually? Um... No, I'm done. Cool. Well, so, since we're here. <laughs> right, since we're here, come on, <clears throat> phase. I, again, give plus one to hit to the Plasma Redemptor. Yep. Give reroll hits to the um, Gatling Redemptor. Uh, I re I healed up three wounds to the Champion of the Feast. So he's back on full. Brr. Um, God damn, a pocket buff for my yep. command phase, my movement phase. Um, the eight wound... Land Raider has chugged back a bit. Uh, the Dreadnought's gone over to actually hold that flank again because I think the one model over there is going to struggle. Yeah, there's a good chance he'll get squashed in yeah. the next fight phase. Yep. Yeah. The uh, Tech Marine's actually going to do Investigate Sites. Investigate yep. Sites. Um, the uh, Strategic Scan. Strategic so Scan. He's going to take the <coughs> whole turn. Um, but yeah. That's fine. The investigate sites, I've realised, I don't actually have um, the right army to do it. It was a poor secondary. Oh, I just need to move my Hellbreak onto the centre. Because yes, because when they charge... I'll be off the centre. Yeah. Right at the moment. That's fine. Right. And Stop trying to nibble his bum. Thank you, Mr. Rat. <laughs> and then the Centurions have used their five-inch move to yep. get closer for a nice, tasty charge. Yes, uh, I have also realised that the Riptides do have the um, early warning system, so when he charged the Riptide up there, I could have overwatched for free, hitting on fives, but that's my fault. Obviously, that's not something we're going to go back and do, but he's got it as well. And I'm so, not going to charge him this time. Yeah, I get a feeling he might get shot a bit. Yes. Okay, so let's go to the shooting phase, and the first really simple one is going to do a bolt pistol into your commander. Go for it. I missed. Cool. Done. Right. Uh, let me come back for the next bit of shooting. Cool. Yeah. Where are we starting? We're going to start with the Plasma Dreadnought into the Crisis Suits. I should also mention I'm in the Assault Doctrine. Yep. I think it probably goes without saying, but there we go. <laughs> uh, so, hitting on twos because of the plus one given. So they all hit. Cool. And then wounding on five, uh, fours even. That's going to be five saves. Where are you taking them? What's the AP? Minus one. So, drones. Drones are dead, and then on the Iridium suit, takes a wound. Okay. I'll go over and deal with that in a minute. And then the plasma. Yep. Six shots. And that's why he started with the small guns. I started with small guns. Twos. Obviously overcharging, I get to reroll because of Hellbrecht. So they all hit. Yep. Wounding on threes. It's going to be five saves at minus Five, uh, minus four. Minus four. Minus four. You're taking one damage these on the... Iridium suit, these so... three damage each. Oof. So sixes. Yes. He's dead. He's dead. And that's... They're dead. They're dead. Wait, so yeah. That'd be one dead. So yeah, they're dead. The whole that's the squad. Dude. Everybody's dead, Dave. Oh, boy. Sad drone noises. It's gone. Drop down. Didn't really do anything. Died. <laughs> Next, we're going to do the Centurions. 
uh, into the fire warriors. Yep. So three of them are in range for the flamers and rapid fire. Yep. And the back one will uh, long range fire them and flame the crisis suit. Cool. So let's do the flamer into the crisis suit first. Yep. Seven shots. Yep. Ending on fives. So that's pretty good roll, five, but no AP. Five three ups. Uh, he's got three wins left, so let's do these. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just put them together. Uh, he's down to two. Okay. And then we're going to get lots of dice. Yeah, we'll come right back. There we go. So we're going to do this three times. These are the hurricane bolters into the fire warriors. Yep. So threes. Oh, that was a terrible roll. And then threes. So two, four, six at first. Any AP? Yep. Three die. Second one. Uh, seven. That's five. So two more. Three more. So that's six dead. Third one. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, camera's gone up, so eight, eight dead. Eight dead, and then there's six flamers going into them. Um, Should I make you? I'm just going to take them off. No. Yeah, okay, cool. That was bloody painful. Centurions, they kill troops. Yeah. Uh, the other Gatling Redemptor is going to fire at the Riptide and try and chip. Some wounds off. Cool. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's a big gun. He's re rolling all hits. Yep. Everything hits. Everything hits. A five's to wound. One, two, three. At minus one. So three ups. Takes a wound down to eight. And we've got the Mini Gatling, rolling, and then fives, another two wounds. Any AP? Minus one. So he's down to six. This is proving to be very effective. Uh, missiles, three shots. Three shots. Winning on threes, re rolling. He'll hit, winning on fives, three. AP. Minus one. He's fine. And then. I'm not in 12, so we've got some Storm Walkers at long range. Rolling. They will hit. And sixes. One wound, no AP. He's fine. He's down to six. I rolled a five, I don't think I caught that. Okay, and then the final <sighs> bit of shooting is going to be the Land Raider into the Devilfish. Yeah, why not? Three, six, nine, twelve. 12. So, Assault Cannons, hitting on fours because it's degraded this time. Winning on fives, it's going to be two at minus one. <laughs> Down to five. And quickly go and change him. That's six. Ooh. Love these dice. There is. Right, and the hurricane bolt is into the devil fish. Yep. So this I'll do this twice. Hitting on fours, winning on fives. So that's gonna be two saves. Takes another one. The second lot. Fives. One more wound, no AP. So down to um, four. The Crusader only has the uh, yeah. Storm Walters and the Assault Cannons. There's no Melter. It just looks cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, and we've got uh, Elbrecht. He's going to shoot him. Yep. So he's in rapid firing now, so he gets four shots. Two on twos. Two on fives. No. That's fine. So that is my shooting picks. Excellent. Um, charges. Charges. So. Let's do the first one. 
The Redemptor is going into yep. the Devilfish, which is an eight. Boom, boom. Eight. Exactly what he needed. Bosh. Need to get on that objective, so that's good. Yep. Uh, the Centurions are going into the uh, Crisis. Yep. This, for reference, is a three inch charge. It's not worth Not when I re-roll all my charges. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. <clears throat> Goodbye. There we go. And that's it. Yep. So we're going to start on your crisis suits. Yep. Start with the champion of the feast. There we go. He's the champion. It's on twos. This was one. And he wounds on... Shred ten. So he wounds on twos. Twos, yep. AP... Minus five because I'm in Assault Doctrine. They're all dead. <laughs> go champion. I'm going to pay a... Com no, there's no point making them blow up. Because no. there's battle suits, so I could. But the chances of... Yeah, no. Redemption is the devil fit. Yeah. Five attacks hitting on threes. Uh... Thing on twos because you've got plus one to hit. Yeah, still missed two. two. Uh, wounding on twos. Uh, so two wounds at minus... Lots. Uh, minus lots, yes, because he's in a sword doctrine. Uh, Redemptor is minus four. So that goes straight through. How many damage? Three plus three. Does he explode? <laughs> a big explosion. No. Devilfish is gone. Right. Are you... I'm done, that's all my attacks. Right, Commander, let's do the drones first, just for the lols. One hit, no wounds. Commander, hits with everything. Rerolls everything, wounds with everything, minus... Uh, one, one of those was a, wasn't a wound because you can only wound me on threes. Oh yes. And I've got a five off in band. Oh yes you do. Mush. And I'm just thinking, I'm actually going to... <coughs> Consolidate and tag your riptide. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, base you so you can't pile in. So this is my objective, and you can't have it. Hands off. So hit me back, but. five attacks. Uh, Fives. Threes. Threes re-rolling. Minus two. Um, four up. All good. Okay, interesting. Oh, and he is dead. He is very dead. So I need to get rid of that Redemptor. I mean, I've got very limited options of what I've got left. You do finish your strategic scan, however. Yep. So, in terms of points... I started my turn three on three objectives. Yep. And you were on two objectives, so I actually held more. Um, and I get the, I don't get the bonus. You do get your bonus. Uh, I haven't done an investigate. I have got stranglehold. Yep. Okay. So we go into your turn, turn three. three. Uh, ghost kill and four is. Basically, to swap places. The breach has jumped on that middle objective just to give me at least a turn of stranglehold. Um, I'm hoping those two can deal with the Redemptor. Um, I mean, this is turn three. Turn three. So, this is the last turn of Mont Car, apart from anything else. Uh, he's dead in combat, but he will be shooting at his top bracket. That's mostly just so I can be hitting my four. I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to manage to do much of them. And I'm going to do a uh, card with five plays. Going to put the drone's going to put a marker light on the uh, land raider, which it does. So he's going to shoot at the land raider. I'm going to go straight into shooting phase. Sure. He got a four, he hit. He hit. Did not wound, but I'm far sight so I can re roll. So there we go. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, we're going over to the ghost kill now. And he's going to put his shots into the Redemptor Dread. So we're going to start with the Fusion. And I will 
Do I need to clear now if I'm overcharging the gun? Yes. Yeah. I guess if I don't shoot it, then it doesn't really matter. No. no. So, yeah. Well, I, you declare when you roll. Yeah. I well, you're rolling it first. I'm going to do the fusion first, because okay. why not? Um, one hit. Yep. One wound. Five up and vulnerable. Um, D6 plus two. In half range. I am going to re roll that. So five reduced to four. You rolled a five. I rolled a three. So three, three plus two minus one is four. Yeah. So Sorry, I should have left that down to That's you. That's fine. So. I mean, you can always watch. Four, <laughs> so down to nine. <clears throat> down to nine. And here comes the overcharge. So heavy six hitting on threes. We're overcharging. Yes. Two mortal wounds, three hits, strength eight. So three at minus two. Fives. Fair them all, damage. Uh, so was three down to two, so that's six in total. Ooh, down to three. Go, and he's taken two mortal wounds. I'll mark that out properly in a sec. Right, um, so air bursting into Hellbrick. I don't yeah. need line of sight and cyclonic ion blaster overcharged into the redemptor. So we'll do the sight ion blast first. So twos, thing hits. Threes. That's cocked. And I can reroll everything. So that's everything. I can't remember the stats. Five, probably. I've failed one. Okay, so. Uh, here's AP minus two, two damage. So one more damage. That's two. Down to two. Hopefully a charge will finish him off. How many shots into Helbricht? Nine. So here we go. What's his toughness? Four. Got so twos. Rerolling everything because of his warlord trait. And then fours. Yep. Rerolling everything. So that is seven at minus one. So minus one, so Freeze. Six two wounds. Cool. I've got six left. Sweet. Right, now we shall come over to the Riptide. So he will be overcharging his gun. He failed the roll, but I used the stratagem to keep it going. So we'll do the gun first. So minus one, because it's heavy. Plus one for being within 12. So fours. Okay. Um, I'm going to come on point that one. That's one point. Yep. Okay. At least I don't take a mortal wound, but that's three hits. Two wounds. I get three roll that. Yep. Yeah. Two wounds. Five ups. How uh, much damage are these? So this is lots. I think. So this is flat four. So. Um, Feel no pains. Uh, I'm going to take these on, I guess I'll take on a regular one, so, uh, they no, they've only got four wounds each, so I am going to take it on the champion. Okay. So first, so it goes down to three damage each. Yep. So, he passes one, so he's, he's got three wounds left, yep. and so he's got three wounds left, he passes another one, he takes four damage, he's still alive on one. <sighs> Champion. Champion of the feast. And here comes the smart missile system. <laughs> so four, eight. Oh. Yeah, so hitting on fours again because it is heavy. And fours. fours. At minus two. So fours. And then oh, sixes. Oh, Champion takes one, but he's dead. The champion has fallen, but I feel rather heroically, and that's all the Black Templar really wants, is to fall heroically, if they have to. Yeah. Um, so, the my... Sad, the sad thing is there's an apocryphy, he's just going to pick him up again. Oh yeah, that son of a bitch. Fair enough. <laughs> These things happen. Combat. Oh, that's really annoying. Charging. Yes, I shall now charge the Redemptor Dread. Would you like to overwatch? Ah, uh, yes I would, because I've still got 40p. Went so well for you last time. It did, <coughs> but you know, 
I was getting plus one to hit still. Yep. So let's go with the plasma. Four shots. Oof. Plus Here one does go. nothing. Nope. No watch. Well, one mortal wound for nothing. So he's down to one. Uh, I'm just going to CP reroll. <laughs> I've got so many CP. I thought you might. <laughs> I've got, only got two wounds left. Well, it turns into a hit. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> and it is strength 9 to the first wind. Yep. Um, Thankfully. <clears throat> Storm Bolters. Uh, 8 shots. Oof. Oof. Unfortunately, they're just Bolters. Yep, but still. 5s. 1 save. No AP. He's fine. Fine. And then the Gatling. 2 hits. 4s. 1 save. Minus 1. He's fine. Nope. And then the rocket pod, two shots, no hits. Oh, okay. There you go. And uh, I will roll the charge. Bloop. 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 Okay. Drones. That's about right. No ignominy in my defeat. <laughs> I've done, I always do the drones first because I've done that before and I finished off, um, I think, Jack's hive tire at once, and he was in the mood for about three days. It was brilliant. Right, four attacks. Rerolling everything. So three hits, strength 10, Please. so threes. Rerolling. So three at minus four, three damage apiece. Two damage one. apiece now because of. <sighs> I'm going to spend a CP to reroll it. Oh, Down no. to one CP. Find the one on that. Can I just be my luck? I should have charged with a ghost kill as well. No, okay, good. Does, Does he explode? explode? No. no. Excellent. And you get to choose next. Well, I've only got one unit in combat. Which yep. Is, which is so, three, six, nine attacks. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Four saves. One goes through. Three damage. So he's down to three. Mm, I'm kill him. He's just hanging in there. You will get to slap me back. Yep, let's check his stats. Here we go. Four attacks back. Two hits. Uh, strength seven to so two wounds. AP minus two. Four ups. Third one. Two damage. One damage. Okay. Sweet goddamn apothecary. That is it. So, score for Stranglehold. Uh, you do, you have the centre over Helbrecht. Yep. Which causes you problems for your oath. I'm just going to check if I just be there or whether I have to... Nope, you can be there, I still score. Oh, cool. Score Never two mind. points if an adept disaster unit is wholly within six. He's there, doesn't matter that you are. So Oath, I gained um, the full four again. Yep. I didn't fall back. I killed a vehicle, which was the... Devilfish, Devil yep. And I'm near the centre. Nice. Um, you have Stranglehold though. Yep. Uh, I finish, I will finish in my command phase, my strategic scan. Yep. With the tech marine. Um, and then when, when we get to my turn, I'll score eight points for holding two objectives. Well, here we go. So we'll turn to... four, battle round four. Interesting. Right. Turn four for the Black Templars. Still in the Assault Doctrine. Um, I'm up to two CP. Yep. Uh, plan phase. I gave plus one to hit to the Land Raider. And I gave reroll hits to the Redemptor. And the movement phase happened. The land raiders shuffled onto this objective. Uh, the tech marines shuffled forward, and I've healed it three more wounds. So it's back to its top profile. Helbrecht has gone through the wall. Um, so he's in there. He's in there. Deciding who to chop up. Yeah, uh, the centurions, um, because I've got a chief apothecary. At the end of the movement phase, I healed the wounded one. I brought the champion of the feast back and pulled five wounds. Yeah. Then I started strategic scan. The chief He's a pest. Okay. 
So if we go straight to the shooting phase, yep. Um, we're going to start with the um, the Redemptor, putting everything into your commander. So you can see down downwind. Oh boy. So Gatling. Twelve shots with the Gatling. Yep. Hitting on threes, re-rolling everything. Some health door. Oh. On the floor. Gone down there. Dog doesn't eat it. So they all hit. So we're on threes with these. These are strength six. So two, four, six, eight saves at minus one. So three ups. Oof. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, one, you... two. He's only got four wounds there. Yeah. So one of the drones as well. One of the drones takes a wound. Okay. And if you're happy with that, I should, I should have rolled them separately. That's fine. Because now Ooh. I'm going to Gatling the other drone. There go. Yep. You're rolling. Sorry. That's Sorry. All that. And then uh, threes to win the drone. So that's two, four, five saves. And yep. drones. That's okay. them gone. Right. Yeah. Helbrecht is going to shoot his bolt gun at the um, breaches, and then he's going to shoot the melter bit at the ghost kill. Cool. So the bolt gun, uh, minus one because he's hitting. I'm going to check if it counts as a combi weapon. Never check. Yes, it does. Yeah. So, two hits, one wound at minus one. He's fine. He's fine. And then the melter hits. Wounds. No invulnerable. No invulnerable. Minus four. Yeah, straight through. Six <laughs> damage. Ooh. Oh yeah, eight. So I'm he's certainly in melter range. Down to two. Okay. Oh boy. That's all my shooting because Centurions cannot shoot into combat. <laughs> the dog's decided that's where he wants the dog's to be. Right in the way. Uh, so we come to the charge phase. Come back in a sec. Upon checking whether or not I'd given him the uh, free overwatch, I didn't, but he has five up fill no pains against ranged weapons of strength seven or more. So this is against the melter. So he gets three back. Yeah. That was kind He's of James. Up to He's not going to last much longer because here comes Halbrick. Here comes Halbrick. <laughs> uh, oh, look, seven is enough. enough. Yeah, definitely. More and enough that. to put him on the objective as well. Yep. With his giant base. Because he's all about that base. And yeah. It's a very lyrical battle, this. That's the only charge. The Venger bus is still alive. The Venger bus the is still. The Hellbreak. Oh. Hellbreak gets <clears throat> yep. six attacks. He's a beast. Beast. What profile is he using? Stabby. Big stabby, stabby. Big stabby. Yep. So, although you get Phil No Pains versus these. No, that's only ranged attacks. Oh, okay. It's a fine, like then. flare launcher. Okay. Flare this. <laughs> um, twos to hit. Yeah. He gets an extra attack for charging. Oh, yeah. Oh, an extra attack for charging, imagine that. Um, strength is eight, so he wounds on... Threes, I'm pretty threes. sure. It's missed twice. Yeah, so threes. Right. So four saves. AP. Minus four. So no saves. Three damage each. He's four dead. Damage. That would have killed him, even if he was on full. Uh, does he explode? He does! D3 mortal wounds. Okay. For two. Oh, he's a black Templar, so he takes two. Takes two. So, Hellbreak's down to four. And... Riptide. Riptide gets to go first. Oh, I do, don't I? Oh yeah, four attacks. Hitting on fives. Never mind. <laughs> um, should we start with the newly revived piling? Yeah. The newly revived champion of the feast. Ugh, yeah, may as well. Winning on twos. Oh, look. They've all hit. Winning on threes. Oh. Oh, he's missed all of them. He's still dazed. So then let's do three attacks each from the other three. Is the Riptide going to survive? Might. Look at that. Threes. Three saves. Three damage each, isn't it? Three damage each. Oh, tension. 
He's alive. He's alive. Don't do this. He's alive. <laughs> Reptoids live. Um, I was not expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. <laughs> they are still awesome. Um, I can shoot them again to combat, but yeah. Um, I gain stranglehold again though. Yes, you do. One, two, three. Um, and then we'll come to your turn four, where you hold one objective. So you gain four points. Two objectives. Oh, yes, objective so objective secured in the middle. Objective secured in the middle, because I can kill two bridges. Yep. We well, didn't really do much to them, to be fair. I shot a bolt gun, a rapid two bolt gun. Mm, true. Right. Tower turn four. Point in the battle. I'm quite limited on what I can do. So the fire warriors here have shuffled over, so they can all see Hellbrecht. And to the breaches as well. So he's got four wounds left. 24 shots. There's a chance. There's a chance. Um, but we'll see. Card of Five Blades moved up. Let's see if he can do anything to the. How many wounds is the. Five because he's got the armor in dominance. Yep. That's two up save as well, isn't it? Two up save. Excellent. And I've made him shoot as full profile because he's going to shoot them in combat again because why not? Uh, he did fail his um, Nova roll, so he no longer has the upgrades, but that's fine. As we move into the shooting phase. Card of Fireblade. Um, I'm not even going to bother with the Marker Light. Because he doesn't need it anyway. Because he's within 12. So hitting on twos. Two hits. Threes. Both wounds. Minus two. So. I guess I'm going to use the Armour Indomitus. Because he's doing a strategic scan. Yeah, he's fine. Worth it. <laughs> uh, actually, it didn't make a difference. Never mind. Yeah. He's fine. Yeah. Okay, so... Riptide, he's going to overcharge the big gun. It might kill him, but here we go. So, uh, fours, because I've, I've maxed out his stats again with the stratagem. He has actually killed himself. And he missed completely. Uh, I do still get to shoot my smart missiles. Strength five. Toughness five, so four wounds. Yep. Um, minus one. Minus one, so three up saves. It's on the champion. He's fine. Does he explode? No. <laughs> well, that frees them up to run around. Really kill the fire blade. <laughs> <laughs> if he's five charging the. <laughs> okay. Oh, charge, is he? Well, why the hell why not? not? At this point. At this point. You know. Uh, right, breaches first of all to Hellbricked. Any shenanigans? Uh, transhuman. Here we go. So threes, then fours. Two hits. Oh, I can reroll the wounds. Two wounds at minus three. Uh, four up and vulnerable. Oh, yep. Uh, takes one damage. So he's down to three. Yes. Now shots from the strike team. Five, 10, 15, 20. Here we go. So, fours, because I'm not within 12. Oh, not great. Could uh, knock that one over. Uh, roughly 50%, so not too bad. And then fours to wound. Rerolling one of them for being far sight. So that is six at minus one. Three ups. Another one, so he's oh, down to two. Down to two. Interestingly, transhuman is any primaris unit. Yeah. So I could transhuman redempt it if I really felt like it. Who knew? Huh. I suppose there's someone in there. Oh no, they're not actually primaris. Redemptors are not primaris, so you can't transhuman it. Oh, okay. A momentary moment. Right, charging. They are primaris dreadnoughts, so they just don't have the keyword. Yeah. Charging the apothecary. Come around here. Oh yeah, here we go. Drone. Oh, there was that one. Hits. Doesn't wound. And let's check his combat stats. Three hits. No. Two hits. I uh, yeah, I can reroll. One wound. Saved. Oh, shocker. Fighting back. And a three. Get. 
So if you're in engagement range now, does he fail the action? Nope. Um, he'll only fail the action if he shoots or charges or does anything. He can still fight back. Okay. So, um, four attacks as you charge me. He hits on threes. Three hits. And he'll wound you on almost certainly threes. Onward. On the drone. Drone's, Drone's dead. dead. But he survives combat. That is, ooh, that is it for Tau turn four. Uh, I don't quite manage to get Assassinate on Hellbrick. Um, I do not have Stranglehold. I have not managed to do another Knackmund. And that's it. So that was not a very high scoring turn for me. No. As we move into battle round five, Templar turn five, the death of the Fireblade. <sighs> so for all my cockiness of I found the clicker, I found the clicker, whoop you do I found the clicker, I don't need to do this walking around nonsense again. You lost the clicker. I lost the clicker. <laughs> um, <coughs> you may have noticed a lack of turn five there. Um, there were two breaches <coughs> and far where is there? Fire, and card to five blade. And card to five blade. Yeah. Facing down four assaults and shurians, Hellbrecht, a Redemptor, and a Land Raider. Yeah, they all died. They all died. The story is told. Yes. The so final scores were 88 to the Black Templars, 53 to the Tau. Yeah. So, assaults and shurians, and a Land Raider. That's one versus the big bad Tau. Yeah. Now, if I had more railguns, then. Mm. I still like my Riptides. They live a lot longer than you expect. Especially the one that was in combat with the Assault Centurions and they failed to kill it. <laughs> uh, that happened to both of them, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four of them model save is just such a lovely addition to them. But I think um, that was definitely an opposing list that I should have maybe played a bit more. <sighs> maybe not rush straight up to the middle. Played around the edges a bit more, whipped you down before I got closer. Because, yeah, the Land Raider came up, the Centurions got out, and yes. But I'm also really happy to see Black Templars doing well, because that is my Space Marine army. And, um... I might have mm, to take this fist to an event. Do a test it out. Yeah. Mm. My sisters will be sad, but... <laughs> I mean, if I can take a Salt Centurion somewhere, I will. Yeah. They've been bad for so long, and suddenly having a fire weapon bun and strats to make the sergeant a beast and unkillable, yep. and when he does die, gets back up again. It's bloody full wounds. That, I think, I knew he was going to come back, but I wasn't expecting full wounds. Um, I think Assassinate, for me was a bit um, ambitious. I think Assassinate's fine. I've got yeah. four characters. That's 13 points. Um, one. If you're going to win the game, you need to be killing my my, yeah. my characters anyway. I think Investigate Sites, Investigate Signals, whatever it's called, that was a terrible choice by me. Yeah. I've got four units in my army that can do it. And after turn one, I only scored it on turn one, and then you killed all my infantry. Other than the Centurions, and... Zero chance on spending an entire turn for my Centurions to um, sit in the centre. And oh, 100%. Uh, too many points and too much punch invested. I would have loved to, them to have sat there, but I totally get they weren't going to. Um, Stranglehold, I think, was right, but I just couldn't hold on to things. And I keep using the Knackman Data one, but... <sighs> yeah... If I could get my, if my breaches were up, no, maybe engage would have been better. Because I had three table quarters at one uh, for a couple of turns. So I definitely would have scored more on that rather than the Nackman data. But it is what it is. Yep. But that was still fun. Lots of fun. Yeah. Land Raiders. Oh. Assault Centurions. Yeah. What more could you ask for? I absolutely love it. But yes. 
Thank you for watching and you haven't got this far, uh, don't, always, uh, don't forget to comment down below and let us know what you thought. Uh, if you do feel there's any mistakes made, point them out. And if you think this was my first time actually playing Black Pampers, so if there are any stratagems I missed, or if I could have optimised the list any better, I almost certainly think I should have the bike chaplain, um, who reduces all damage to one, rather than the jump pack chaplain. Um, mm. So that's on my paint queue. I mean, to be fair, he just took lots of single damage. Yes, <laughs> but, but he would have also been toughness five with a lot more wounds. Yeah, that would have definitely made a difference. So. But yeah, and yeah, um, I think you guys pretty much seen everything I have for town now. Let me know if there's anything I should change to make it more. Um, yes, thank you very much. Happy World Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe. Lots more coming and... Uh, I am, although I am losing to this gentleman, I am learning a lot. So eventually, I might be him. One day. <laughs> One day. Perseverance, that's, that's the key. Yes. What I'll do is bring Necrons with loads of scarabs. Fine. <laughs> My sort of centurions with gamers and hurricane no, bolters. True. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I'll rethink that. Happy wargaming. See you soon. Oh, Jack, since you're here, could you stop it for me? Yeah. Do 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 do.